Welcome back to Men's Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about dicyclamine, also known as bento. Uh, it is used for cramps related to any kind of GI issue. Generally, it's indicated for irritable bowel syndrome, but I've seen a lot of ER doctors prescribe it if you get like really bad like food poisoning, any kind of uh, constant like major diarrhea, any kind of GI issue where your stomach is just constantly cramping, you don't feel good. Um, I've seen uh, women on really, really bad periods, the doctors have, been, have given this for that too. So that's kind of really what, what we're using for. So it works by blocking the acetylcholine in your smooth muscle in your intestines, because that's what's going on. Your, your small intestines are rumbling, it's causing a lot of discomfort. If we can just get those muscles to calm down, cramping stops, and then the pain stops. So that's, that's really how it works. Really, really simple uh, concept. Uh, it works really, really effectively too. You can take it with or without food, it does not matter. Um, you generally take 20 milligrams up to four times a day, you don't exceed that, but you generally take what you need to get the job done. So if you can get the job done in two doses, that's what you take. You don't just take, you don't religiously take it four times a day if you don't need it. It's an as needed medication. Uh, onset kicks in in about one to two hours. Uh, the duration of action is it lasts for about four hours. So quick on, quick off, which is why you dose it four times a day because it's quick on, quick off. Um, for pregnancy, it's generally not recommended. There are other medications you would take if you're having cramps for it. Um, lactation, you generally don't take this during lactation. Uh, renal liver, um, generally there's no dosages, adjustments that you need to make, but always go through this with your doctor. They need to know what you're on, and it's, you know it's not always a foolproof process where uh, you know this could not interfere with other things. Your doctor should know what it is, uh, what you're taking with other medications, so we can make sure that nothing will interact with each other. Here's a list of side effects here. The big thing here to talk about is, is things like dry mouth is major. Probably all, almost a ton of people, one in I think five, get dry mouth, uh, nausea, dizziness, you can make you sleepy, um, blurred vision. Blurred vision is one, if you, if you get this, you need to call the doctor, you're having a bad reaction to the medication, we need to switch you on something right away. Uh, beyond that, guys, very, very easy medication, very old medication, very reliable. So if you have any questions, concerns, leave them down below. We'll answer them. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.